Have you ever wondered how a simple cocoa bean transforms into a heavenly chocolate bar? It's a journey filled with sweetness, passion, and a touch of magic. Welcome to the world of chocolate, a realm where indulgence meets artistry and every bite is a celebration of flavors. Now picture a humble cocoa bean. It's the heart and soul of every chocolate bar, but it's also so much more. It's a testament to the rich history of chocolate, tracing back to ancient civilizations who revered the cocoa bean as a precious commodity. From these historical roots, chocolate has blossomed into a global sensation, adored by millions and embedded in countless cultures around the world. But the story of chocolate is not just about its past, it's also a story of transformation. Imagine the cocoa bean as it embarks on a journey, undergoing a series of processes, each more intricate than the last, to finally emerge as the chocolate we know and love. It's a process that requires patience, dedication, and a deep understanding of the delicate nature of the cocoa bean. And then there's the joy of tasting chocolate, the way it melts on your tongue, the burst of flavors that flood your senses, and the lingering sweetness that leaves you craving for more. It's an experience that is, quite simply, irresistible. But the world of chocolate is not just about indulgence, it's also about discovery. From dark chocolate rich and intense to milk chocolate smooth and creamy and white chocolate sweet and velvety, there's a type of chocolate for every palate. And let's not forget the health benefits that come with savoring this treat in moderation. So, whether you're a seasoned chocolate connoisseur or a curious novice, there's always something to learn, taste and enjoy in the world of chocolate. So, buckle up and get ready for a sweet adventure. Stay tuned to uncover the sweet mysteries of chocolate. When we say chocolate, what comes to your mind? Most likely it's a delicious sweet treat that melts in your mouth, leaving you craving for more. But there's more to chocolate than meets the tongue. Chocolate is a product of the cacao tree's beans, which go through a meticulous process of fermentation, drying, roasting, and grinding. The result is a rich, indulgent treat that comes in two main types, dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Dark chocolate, with a high percentage of cacao, offers a deep, intense flavor. On the other hand, milk chocolate blended with milk or milk powder provides a creamier, milder taste. But let's not forget the nutritional value of chocolate, it's a treasure trove of valuable nutrients like proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. So, every time you enjoy a piece of chocolate, remember the rich nutrients it offers. Did you know that chocolate has a history as rich as its flavor? This might surprise you, but the origins of chocolate can be traced back to the ancient Mayan civilization. The Mayans, who resided in present-day Mexico and Central America, revered the cocoa bean and considered it a gift from the gods. They used it not only as a precious food, but also as a form of currency. Fast forward to the 15th century, and we find the Aztecs continuing the Mayan tradition of using cocoa beans as currency and in their sacred rituals. They also invented a bitter, frothy beverage made from ground cocoa beans and spices. This was probably quite different from the sweet, melt-in-your-mouth chocolate we know and love today. Enter the Spaniards in the 16th century, when they arrived in the New World, they found this bitter beverage intriguing. They brought cocoa beans back to Spain, sweetened the beverage with cane sugar, and voila. The chocolate drink quickly became a favorite among the Spanish nobility. As the 17th century rolled around, this sweet indulgence started to spread across Europe, finding its way into the cups of the French and English elite. It wasn't until the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century, though, that chocolate became widely accessible. Thanks to inventions like the hydraulic press and the conching machine, chocolate could be mass-produced and enjoyed by everyone, not just the aristocracy. And now, in the 21st century, chocolate has become a global favorite. It's enjoyed in countless forms, from a comforting hot cocoa drink to an indulgent chocolate bar. It's used in cooking and baking, and it's the star of many a dessert. Just imagine what started as a currency and precious food for the Mayans has now become a global favorite. The journey of chocolate, from ancient civilizations to modern times, is truly a testament to its enduring appeal and irresistible taste. Ever thought about the journey of a cocoa bean from a tree to a chocolate bar in your hand? The process of making chocolate is an intricate dance of nature and human intervention. It all begins with the cocoa tree, which produces large, football-shaped pods. Inside these pods are the precious cocoa beans. The harvest season for cocoa beans usually lasts from October to December and from April to June. 
Harvesters crack open the ripe pods, revealing the beans nestled within a sweet sticky pulp. Now the cocoa beans undergo fermentation, a crucial step that develops the chocolate's flavor profile. The beans, along with the pulp, are left to ferment for about five to seven days. Post-fermentation, the beans are spread out to dry under the sun for another week. This process reduces the beans' moisture content and enhances their flavor. Once dried, the beans are roasted at a carefully controlled temperature. This step is like the blooming of a flower, where the flavors locked within the beans are released. The roasting duration and temperature vary depending on the desired flavor. Post-roasting, the beans are cracked open to extract the nibs, the heart of the cocoa bean. These nibs are then ground into a paste called chocolate liquor. Don't let the name fool you, though. Chocolate liquor is non-alcoholic. It's simply a semi-liquid form of chocolate containing both cocoa solids and cocoa butter. Next, this paste is refined to smooth out the texture. Here, additional ingredients like sugar, milk, and vanilla are added based on the type of chocolate being made. The mixture then goes through a process called conching, where it's continuously mixed and aerated to develop the flavor further. Finally, the chocolate is tempered, a process of heating and cooling the mixture to a precise temperature to ensure a shiny finish and a satisfying snap. It's then poured into molds, cooled, and packaged, ready to be enjoyed. The next time you bite into a chocolate bar, think about the intricate process it has gone through. Not all chocolates are created equal, have you ever wondered why? It's all in the cocoa content and the additional ingredients. Let's break it down, shall we? Dark chocolate is the purest form of chocolate and contains more than 70% cocoa. It's rich and intense, with a hint of bitterness. It's also the healthiest type of chocolate due to its high levels of antioxidants. Next is milk chocolate, containing between 10 to 50% cocoa. It's creamier and sweeter thanks to the added milk and sugar. This is the type of chocolate you'll commonly find in candy bars and desserts. Then we have white chocolate, which isn't technically chocolate because it doesn't contain any cocoa solids, only cocoa butter. It's sweet and buttery, with a smooth, melt-in-your-mouth texture. And let's not forget specialty chocolates like ruby chocolate, known for its distinct pink hue and fruity flavor. So, whether you're a fan of dark milk or white chocolate, there's a sweet treat for everyone. Did you know your favorite treat has some surprising health benefits? Dark chocolate in particular is a powerhouse of nutrients. It's rich in fiber, iron, magnesium, and packed with antioxidants that help fight off harmful free radicals. But the benefits don't stop at nutrition. Regular consumption of dark chocolate can also contribute to heart health. It supports good blood flow and can help lower blood pressure. And that's not all. Dark chocolate might also be a brain booster. Some studies suggest that the flavonoids found in dark chocolate could improve memory and cognitive function. Finally, if you're feeling a little down, reaching for a piece of dark chocolate could give you a mood boost. It contains phenylethylamine, a compound that triggers the release of endorphins, our body's natural feel-good chemicals. Remember, a piece of chocolate a day could keep the doctor away, or at least make the day a little brighter. We all love indulging in chocolate, but how can we do it mindfully? Well, it's simpler than you might think. Let's dive into some tips on how to consume chocolate in a healthy way. Firstly, opt for dark chocolate. This variant is packed with a higher cocoa content, often above 70%, providing you with more beneficial antioxidants. It's also lower in sugar than its milk or white chocolate counterparts. Secondly, moderation is key. While chocolate, especially dark, is filled with health benefits, it's still a calorie-dense food. So try to limit your intake to a small piece or two a day. Lastly, always check the label when buying chocolate. Look for products with minimal ingredients and avoid those with added sugars or artificial flavors. Now, you're equipped to make smarter choices when it comes to enjoying this sweet delight. With these tips, you can savor your favorite treat without any guilt. As we come to the end of this sweet journey, let's take a moment to savor what we've learned. From the cacao tree to the artistry of chocolate making, the diverse types, and surprisingly beneficial health effects, it's clear that chocolate is more than just a treat. So why not explore? Try a bitter dark chocolate, a creamy milk one, or even the pure decadence of white chocolate. Remember, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get, so enjoy every piece.